Hello traders and welcome to a new video on portfolio tracking. So I've actually never made a video on tracking one's trades and tracking one's portfolio statistics. And a lot of people wanted me to talk a little bit more about this. So what we're going to look at today is using Google Sheets, which is available if you have a Google account. You do have access to Google Sheets. And using that to visualize your trades that you've made uh, or the amount of profit or loss per day, by day and also getting some meaningful statistics out of that to evaluate your performance. So the first thing that I recommend is to pull the data from your exchange of your daily PL or of your trade PL. So what this means is some exchanges are going to tell you your profit and loss by day. Some exchanges are going to tell you your profit and loss by each trade you make. Uh, and then sometimes you just have to do it yourself. You have to you have to calculate that data yourself. Whatever way you like to do it, you're going to want to make a daily PL here, or you could write, you know, trade PL if you track uh, if you track your PL by trade, and then put all of that data here. And then what you're going to do is let's do gains here and losses here. So anytime that you gain in your daily uh, profit loss, you would put that here, and anytime you have a loss, you would put that loss right there. And what I like to do with this, just right off the bat, after I, I pull the data is you can shift click all of that data there and you can find the average so the this would be the average that you make by day and you can find the sum so this is how much you've made over that period so this data here is 25 trading days that uh, in the month of December so I traded 25 days within December and the most that I lost in one uh, day was was 0.1 BTC and the most I made was 0.156 BTC as you can see here. So what I also like to do is insert a chart to visualize this daily p uh, So to do that just click daily p and click uh, insert chart here and you can drag that over to uh, this here and I like to look at a columns chart and to get columns chart you just hit chart type and you can um, you can get uh, the columns chart that way. And I don't like to customize it a lot, just maybe put in a title. So <coughs> you could write in daily PL, make that black. And yeah. Another option that you do have is to label each uh, day. So let's say this was December 1st, December 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and then I didn't trade on the 5th, but this was December 6th. And then I didn't trade on the 7th, but uh, this was December 8th. You can write that in here as well, and you can highlight that range, and you can make that range go into the chart, uh, and then have each of these labeled for that. But for this, this is just going to be a quick and quick and dirty uh, look at portfolio statistics, and um, not really getting that complex into uh, visualizing it. So this is what I like to look at, just to see, you know, by the day, um, how I how I how I've been doing, and you can look at that visually. And if you click on any data point, you can see uh, how much you made or how much you lost by day or by trade if you keep your trade PL. So, what I also like to do is track portfolio statistics. And that's what you see right down here. So, there are a lot of different kinds of statistics that you can find for your uh, trade PL, for, you know, for all your trades. You can find your Sortino ratio. You can also use your daily PL for your Sortino ratio. And the reason why I don't like to use Sharpe ratio, uh, so the, the two major ratios are the Sortino and the Sharpe ratio. The Sharpe ratio is the mean of returns divided by the standard deviation of all of your returns. So what that means is you want a, a high Sharpe ratio, a high Sortino ratio is good. A low Sortino ratio, a low Sharpe ratio is bad because a high Sortino ratio means that you make a lot for the amount of uh, standard deviation of your negative returns. And a sharp ratio, what that tells you is how much you make or how much you lose um, for the standard deviation of all returns. And the reason I don't love the sharp ratio is the sharp ratio is going to penalize you for any massive returns that you make. So if you have, if you have large gains in a few days and then many just smaller gains or smaller losses here, your sharp ratio might not be great. Uh, your Sharpe ratio might be a bit lower because the standard deviation of all your returns is going to be higher because uh, you know you're gonna, you have those higher values that are farther away from that average. What I like about the Sortino ratio is that it only penalizes you for negative returns. So it takes the standard deviation 
of all of your negative returns. So, you know, this, 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 uh, and these. And it finds, you know, how close the, the standard deviation of, of those returns. So let's calculate the Sortina ratio and find what we get. So to do that, you can just shift click over uh, all of your daily PL. And let's just go to here. I'm going to hit average. That's going to give me my mean of returns by day. I'm going to put that data, I'm going to put that cell over here. And then what we want to do is get the standard deviation of our negative returns. So to do that, I'm going to shift click all of my uh, losing days. I'm going to hit functions, statistical. I'm going to go down to standard dev. All right, so we have our standard deviation of our negative returns, as you can see here. And I'm actually going to copy that. I'm going to paste that uh, here. I don't know if you guys can see it, so I'll put it here. This divided by uh, this. I'm going to put that a little bit lower. Yeah, right there. And you can see that it is 0.4. So we know that the Sortina ratio of my last 25 days is 0.4. So one way you can interpret that number I'm just going to write that here, 0 0.407 is our Sortina ratio uh, by day. And what that means is average of, for one unit of risk, uh, I make 0 0.407, uh, which I, I don't think is, I think that's pretty average with a lot of different traders. Uh, but you, you're really going to want a very high Sortina ratio. Um, and the lower your Sortina ratio, means that a lower Sortina ratio probably means that you're taking on a lot of risk. So you may want to dial back some of that risk. And a very high Sortina ratio means that you're making a lot for the amount of that you are risking in your portfolio. So that would be very good. All right, so that's the Sortino. Then let's go just to something much uh, simpler, which is the win percentage. Uh, win percentage is just number of positive returns divided by the number of total returns. So we know that the count for total returns is 25. And the amount of uh, lose, uh, winning days I've had is 16. So 16 divided by 25, I think that's, I don't wanna do that in my head. So 16 divided by 25 is 0.64. So our win percentage is 64%, meaning that uh, each day, I, that I've traded 64% of the days I um, I made money. Now, I think this is actually a much more helpful statistic if you look at it for trade PL instead of daily PL, uh, because then you could look at it for if you have, you know, like 100 trades, you could say, I profited on 45 of them. So, you know, you'd have a 45% win percentage, but it still kind of is nice to see uh, the percent that you win by, by day. And then what I like to look at is the win-loss ratio, as you can see here. And I would recommend that you write down all these formulas into your Google Sheet somewhere, uh, or I think you could just probably take a screenshot of this video and, uh, and get that part right there. So win-loss ratio is just the average positive return divided by the average negative return. So this is, again, is super easy to calculate. I'm just gonna go there. I'm gonna hit average, and we get our number here. I'm gonna drag that, uh, boom. And now let's get the average loss, which I think is like 0.028 for me. Uh, let's see. Oops. Uh, average, yeah, 0.029. So on average, I lose 0.029, and on average, I make that. Uh, so I'm going to put that right there. And it's this number divided by average negative return. So it's going to be this divided by, I'm gonna take off the negative sign of that, of course. Uh, I'm gonna take off the negative of that. And it is 1.309. So our win-loss ratio is 1.309, as you can see here. And again, this is a really simple statistic. This is just gonna tell you for every loss of one unit that you have, how much do you make? So for every loss of one that I have, I, uh, I make 1.309. And that's, as you can see uh, from the, that data there. So now let's go into profit factor. 
and that's just the sum of positive returns divided by the sum of negative returns. So to do that, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna hit the sum. Uh, it is a Fibonacci, as you can see. That's beautiful. Not, <laughs> did not mean for that to happen. Uh, 0.618 is my uh, total return over the month uh, in, just, in just the days that I have uh, made money. And then let's do the uh, sum of, yeah, sum of negative returns which is negative 0.2654. So we're gonna be doing this, this number divided by, I'm gonna take the negative sign off that number there. Um, and we'll see what we get. So 2.33 basically. So the profit factor is 2.33. So a lot of ways that you can you know, look at these statistics. These are just some sample statistics that I like to use. Of course, there are dozens, if not hundreds, of different kinds of portfolio metrics that you can uh, that you can judge your trades on, or that you can ju judge someone's uh, daily PL on. Uh, but this is just what I like to use to um, to help me. And if you guys have any questions in the comments about how to use Google Sheets and how to do the chart, how to get these statistics, why these why these statistics are meaningful and what these values actually mean, um, then you can comment below or shoot me a private message on Discord. One last thing is whenever you have a new trade that's made or you know you record a new daily PL, all you have to do is, let me shift this down. Unfortunately, all these values are gonna change for every new input that you put in, of course. Uh, but let's say, you know, today I made .0, random number 2.5. Uh, and that was, of course, you know, that'd be a gain. That'd be a, a, a gain. So if I made 0.025 BTC, then I would just click this, double click my, my chart. And right now it's going to C4 to C29. We're gonna go C4 to, uh, oh, it actually, it included the, included the 29. You just always wanna make sure that the data range lines up with your new values. So if I, you know, if I lost 0.01 here, um, then you're gonna wanna make sure that your chart reflects that, which I think it does here. It should say C4 to C30. Yep, C4 to C30. Yeah, so just always make sure that your chart is recording these values, and if it is, then you can just uh, you know input the values there, and uh, it should be good. All right, that's gonna do it for portfolio statistics, portfolio tracking. I find that this is a lot better and a lot easier for me than using a service that does this for me. Um, and if you know of a service that, that does stuff like this for you and, and does it for free, uh, you can feel free to post that in the comments as well and uh, help some other traders uh, to, to track their trades. All right, with that, happy trading.